I'm stuck between Electrolux versus Bosch mixers. Bosch likes to think it is a premium brand, but it sometimes falls short. Any mixer is going to have problems or someone who gives it one star for breaking after a month of heavy use. Bosch promotes all kinds of attachments, but many like the meat grinder attachment are no longer sold. That doesn't matter much. I don't grind my own meat. It matters if you planned on using attachments that require the meat grinder. Okay, that's annoying. I've heard that Bosch mixes do darn near everything. Bosch calls their premium mixer a universal kitchen machine. It costs around $400 on sale. For that price, it ought to do everything but put the mix in the oven for you. And I'm sure it has a lot of power. Actually, it uses 800 watts, twice as much as the Bosch compact mixer. How would you rate the compact mixer? The compact Bosch mixer is $200. It can stir, beat and whisk. I had a friend bragging about the Verona Electrolux Assistant Bread Mixer. At $800, it rivals some fancy purses. There are fancy purses that cost thousands of dollars. For $800, you better be working as a baker. Or you are better off buying a $4 loaf of fancy bread per week for four years. What about Electrolux Mixers? Electrolux assistant mixers have been replaced by the anchors from stand mixers. And where do those stand? Proud and tall of their expensive Swedish origins. Actually, the original anchors from red stand mixer is around $800. How does it perform? It has a sensor to automatically adjust the motor torque and has a built-in timer. It aims to do as much of the work as possible. At $800, it should do just about everything. It should be really easy to use. The instructions are hard to read if you're an English speaker. The website has little information in English too. Then I'm getting a bar shift only to be able to figure out how to call the helpline.